Hi, Tim Skell here, ABB HVACR Application Engineering. Today we're going to talk about modified parameters in the ACH580. So depending on the drive manufacturer or your, your preference or your experience in your training, you might call these change parameters. In the ACH580, they are called modified parameters. What these are are parameters that are different than the factory default settings. This is a really good tool to use when you're walking up to a drive for the first time and you're going to be troubleshooting or maybe you're going to finish commissioning and you want to understand how exactly is this drive programmed. Well, if you have an idea of what the factory default settings are naturally in the drive, all you need to do is navigate over to modified parameters and you get a really quick list that walks you through what is different. So let's go ahead and do that and take a look. So what I'm going to do is simply come up here to menu. I can either scroll down, but there's a shortcut trick where if I hit the up button, it'll take me straight to parameters, or I could have scrolled down to parameters, hit the right arrow here, and I've got my complete list of parameters. If I had created a favorite list of parameters or my modified list of parameters, so I'm going to come on down to modified, hit the right arrow, or I could hit select. And right now, I now have details on everything in this drive that has been changed from the factory default settings. So I can see that, oh, I've got start interlock two. So I have a second safety wired and configured for digital input five. Normally I just have start interlock one, the factory default on digital input four. So maybe this is a air handler and I have not only a high static safety on DI four, maybe I got a free stat up here in, in Wisconsin on DI five. So I can also see as I scroll down here, I've got my stop mode is set to ramp. Maybe if I decide, hey, that's not really the right setting, this is an air handler, and typically I have ramp as a stop method for pumps, you can actually change things on the modified parameters list. So I can say, hit edit, and change that to be coast. You'll notice it just disappeared because I changed it back to factory defaults, so it is no longer considered a modified parameter because it's at factory defaults again. So I've got minimum frequency is 15 hertz, factory default was zero, so I don't want to go below a certain speed or frequency, so I have that set for 15 hertz. I can see that this drive has been configured for BACnet, and the MAC ID is 41. I picked that number because tomorrow happens to be my wife's 41st birthday. Hopefully she never watches this video and sees that I'm talking about her age in a ABB training video. Scroll on down, I can see that as part of the backnet configuration, there's going to be a couple other settings. So my baud rate, I could have programmed the dedicated baud rate, but factory, uh, but when you enable backnet, it's going to try to auto-detect the baud rate for you. I have com loss configured for backnet. I can see my device object instance ID. I went with 1341, so a lot of times, say maybe this is the 13th building on campus and the 41st device in there. Or maybe this is uh, region 13 on the fourth floor and device number one. So there's a lot of different ways that in our control side, you can have a really creative device object instance ID numbering system. Got max master, which got configured because of BACnet. So a couple more settings that were all because I turned BACnet on here. And as I scroll down past group 58, which are the BACnet settings, I can see that the motor data has been updated. This happens to be my, my demo case motor, so I had the dropper down. And I can see that I had dropped down the horsepower of this drive to match my demo case motor here. So there you have it. You've got a list of modified parameters. Very quick, easy way. If you like parameters, if you want to see how this drive has been configured different from factory defaults, this is a great way to do it. If you have any questions on this, feel free, feel free to reach out to your local ABB drive specialist or your ABB regional application engineer. Thank you.